so hello everyone let us see maths graded assignment question number four okay what we have given is value of g of zero and g of one value are given and g of x is general function which we have been given okay so हमें यहाँ पे जितने भी सेट फाइंड करने हैं सभी में x लेस देन और इक्वल टू फाइव गिवन है ठीक है तो हम x की सभी वैल्यू मीन्स x इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव सभी वैल्यू पर g g फंक्शन की वैल्यू फाइंड कर लेते हैं ठीक है ठीक है सपोज देखो g ऑफ वन हमें g ऑफ जीरो इज गिवन इक्वल टू वन एंड g ऑफ वन इज गिवन इक्वल टू जीरो ना हाउ टू फाइंड g ऑफ टू g of 2 equal to put x equal to 2 in this function okay so g of 2 is first we have to write x x equal to 2 then g of x minus 1 means g of 2 minus 1 plus g of x minus 2 means g of 2 minus 2 okay what is g of 2 minus 1 g is 2 as it is g of 2 minus 1 is g of 1 plus g of 2 minus 2 is g of 0 you can see that we have value of g of 1 and g of 0 already given in the question so we can directly put the value 2 g of 1 is 0 and g of 0 is 1 so that now we can get that g of 2 has the value 2 means 2 into 0 plus 1 gives you 2 ok next is g of 3 g of 3 is equal to x means x equal to 3 here now g of 3 minus 1 plus g of 3 minus 2 okay so 3 as it is g of 3 minus 1 is g of 2 plus g of 3 minus 2 is g of 1 okay what is g of 2 we just now find that g of 2 has value 2 equal to 3 2 plus g of 1 equal to 0 what we have what we get is g of 3 equal to 3 to the 6 okay next g of 4 g of 4 means 4 g of 4 minus 1 plus g of 4 minus 2 4 as it is g of 4 minus 1 is g of 3 plus g of 2 g of 3 is 6 plus g of 2 is 2 6 plus 2 is 8 4 to 4 is a 32 g of 4 is 32 okay now g of 5 last one is x equal to 5 means g of 5 5 g of 5 minus 1 plus g of 5 minus 2 that is 5 multiplied by g of 4 plus g of 3 equal to 5 multiplied by 32 plus 6 32 plus 6 is 38 which is coming to end here we will add one more okay 38 5 is a 38 Pisa 4 plus 15 190 okay g of 5 we get 190 okay wait let us see what we get is g of 5 190 let us write all values here 2 equal to 2 g of 3 equal to 6 g of 4 equal to 32 and final g of 5 equal equal to 190 okay no need of this now done now s1 is the set of all values of x by which g gives output as an even number for x less than or equal to 5 okay so first number is x first x is 0 g of 0 is 1 so 0 is not a part of s1 then g of 1 equal to 0 yes by putting x equal to 1 we get even number 
for x equal to 2 yes by putting x equal to 2 we get even number which is 2 x equal to 3 again even number x equal to 4 again even number and x equal to 5 also a even number so set s1 is the set of the numbers 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay what what s2 has asked x where gx is odd x less than or equal to 5 okay <clears throat> gx is only one time odd when x equal to 0 and the output is 1 okay so we have to write the value of x means x equal to 0 s1 sorry this is s2 okay s2 is the singleton set with element 0 then comes t t is x when gx is prime x less than or equal to 5 okay t gx is prime when uh, okay 1 is not a prime 0 is not a prime yeah 2 is only the prime so 6 is not a prime 32 is also not a prime and 190 is also not a prime number so only at x equal to 2 we get prime number okay so we get we got all these three sets now what they have asked you cardinality of s2 is 1 let us check cardinality of s2 is 1 yes correct then second is g is a surjective function we will see it afterwards s2 intersection t is an infinite set okay let us check s2 intersection t s2 intersection t is null set not an infinite set so option 2 is also wrong this is correct cardinality of s1 is 1 okay let us see cardinality of s1 is not 1 we can see that cardinality of s2 is sorry s1 is 5 cardinality of s1 is 5 again third option is wrong the function g is not subject okay what is surjective function surjective function are the function whose range and codomain are same what is g of x g of x for x greater than or equal to 0 for x equal to 0 1 comma for x equal to this is range what we are writing is for x equal to 1 it is 0 comma for x equal to 2 it is 2 for x equal to 3 it is 6 for x equal to 4 it is 32 and so on you can see that the range what is core domain here core domain given in the question is let us see yeah this is what given so here n is net set of natural number is core domain okay so core domain is set of all natural numbers but range does not include all the natural numbers so range is not equal to core domain that is set of natural numbers implies that g of x is not a surjective function thank you